All right, back to Star Pack for another of the five of a kind runs that I recorded back in January and have never gotten around to uploading. Um, I, I kind of I didn't really want to be uploading um, Star Pack every single day. I know it's probably everyone's least favorite, but since it's become a bit more common to actually get five of a kinds in it, um, I think it's uh, fair enough to to do it now and again. So this is five pugs, and I think. I'd had a few attempts at five pugs prior to the golden pack update, but a lot of the time they just never went anywhere and I wasn't really approaching it the right way. I was trying to, you know, um, have like the pug chain where you've got the level two pug at the back and it's cascading down the line and it's just not very good. Um, even if you've got a clownfish that's sort of giving extra buffs. Um, and you just cannot find enough uh, pugs to level them up and, and get the scaling with the clownfish. So we have to turn to some of the other options in pack 3 and here we get starfish. Um, I, I was kind of trying as well to make a point of going for stuff that was not um, uh, shoebill. And unfortunately here we lose a 50-50 and the buff lands on the duckling but it doesn't really matter too much. And you'll see here I just entered the battle with uh, Pug at the front, I, although you could put it behind the Starfish and get plus 1-1. One, one. Um, it doesn't really bother me. I mean, you know, they, you can go against Seahorse anyway and the positions can get um, can get flipped. So I just uh, left it. And here I buy the Double Duckling without um, selling them because I want to sell them onto a Pug to, get, um, to mitigate the bad starting uh, health. But since I find the Kiwi, I think I would rather sell the Duckling and then um, get the uh, the Kiwi buff onto the Pug. And we're going to lose this one as well, which is expected, although it's only by 1 HP. And I think, uh, do we find the next Pug? No, we don't find the next Pug, but we do find double Starfish in the shop, which is um, basically the best case scenario on turn 5 to find... Uh, Two more starfish. Now here I decide to go greedy and keep them separate. Um, I don't know if that's the best, necessarily the best play. I could probably just combine them straight away. Um, because then an, every buff from each cell is guaranteed to hit the pug. And if we buy another pug, then it's guaranteed to hit that as well. And you'll see what happens here. I find another pug, but I decide to keep the starfish separate, or at least one of them separate. And what happens when you buy sell? Okay, they both hit the pug there, but I think uh, maybe it's next round. Um, I get punished for um, for putting them sep keeping them separate like this. Again, I'm, the pugs at the front, no big deal. I'm not really concerned about um, trying to optimize because the starfish scaling is going to explode um, as soon as we unlock uh, platypus as well, which I think is this turn. And you can see here what happens, I get greedy, I, I do two cells and the level two starfish puts both buffs onto the other starfish. So I immediately combine them, regretting my decision. And then now we get platypus, which is going to give us plus six, six. And uh, it's actually plus six, eight for free. Um, <laughs> which, uh, you know, it's kind of ridiculous, really. So... Um, I guess in a sense in pack 3 you are kind of, uh, you know, your, your RNG, every platypus you get makes such a big difference, but you can easily, you know, as you progress through rounds you can get to a point where they're very rare to find. And here I actually don't find any pugs for quite a while, so we've always got the two slots open to be able to uh, do the double, the triple sell. But the, the amount of stats that the, these pugs are getting here is just absolutely ridiculous. And as soon as we find a crow, we'll be able to level up the starfish to level 3. And we're going to be getting even more stats per turn. So the team has gone from looking pretty anemic to now um, crushing uh, opposing teams. That team was kind of weak, I guess, for turn 8, I think. Pack 3 can be really strange. Sometimes you can go against extremely strong teams and other times, um, you know, they've, they've n not managed to um, find what they needed. Uh, I think I feel like that's the case more so than the other packs. Here, Woodpecker Toad puts weakness onto both our uh, pugs, but actually, we're, our stats are so extreme that it doesn't matter. And um, we get another crow. Uh, I don't know why I froze the chocolate. I mean, I could have, 
I could, maybe I thought that I would level up one of the pugs and then at the end I would have a chain going, um, but I don't really think it's worth it for the small amount of stats you, you get. Um, it also means you have to put your highest attack one at the back. So here I, uh, much like the leech run, I take shoe bill for one turn as a, just as um, a fill in. Kind of wish I hadn't, wish I'd just used the crow or something for the buy sell. And another team that we can easily um, steamroll with our two huge units. Um, it's super unlikely at this point to be facing any teams that have like a very large swordfish because people just don't. People rarely use swordfish and also you would have to have kept frog and transferred the stats onto the swordfish. Um, so it's, you know, you're never really concerned about it. Not like in pack one where you're always worried about skunk. Um, this pack is just not like that at all. So here on seven wins, turn 11, uh, it is starting to get to the point where we really need to start just rolling for pug because um, we're going to run out of time and buy selling. Um, you know, you're, uh, well, we actually get lucky here and we find one and I decide not to buy it yet. And I will just do some uh, buy selling first and selling the duckling gives that pug an extra four stat, <laughs> an extra two health. But I actually decide, yeah, much better just to keep on stacking on the big units and then, um, and then uh, uh, get the pug in. And I, I think I've, I've left so many crow um, chocolates on the table in this game. Uh, another team that uh, you quite often see this where they have one huge unit like there with a the yak, but we have two. And uh, I think my math is right that two is better than uh, one. So on nine, we now have the four pugs, but because we have a level three starfish, we can actually roll down to zero and still buy the pug. And something funny actually happens in this battle where the two pugs at the back get sniped by the level two puffin and actually level up the uh, the backline pug. Although I don't think it's going to make any difference because um, this team has spent an awful lot of uh, gold on uh, strawberries, and it's an, in the end it's a very easy win for the two huge units and three virtually base stat pugs. So that's another one down for pack three, and there are some more, but I'll try and uh, space them out um, so that it's not just star pack every day.